Hello everyone. Welcome to Monster City. I'm your host Spencer Weatherly as always and today I have um, been gone for probably two months. No one probably really noticed. Um, yeah, there wasn't much going on throughout that time. Mostly school. Um, we started sophomore year, so, or I, I just, uh, started sophomore year at that time, so, um, yeah, here we are, um, with a Halloween, um, esque monster, since it was just after Halloween. It's two days after Halloween right now, I think. Um, this video might upload later than I'm talking about. It might upload later on. Or, um, it will upload today or probably in a few days. Because, uh, something going on with my phone to where it's taking a very long time for me to upload. It took, um, yeah, it took exactly two days after Halloween for me to upload a dumb shark video. It's a Halloween sp spectacular dumb shark video. Um, you can always check that video out. It's in the links. Um, but if anyone ever watches the dumb shark, um, you might realize that there is some weird humor, and uh, some of it has um, language, poor language usage. So, viewer discretion is advised if you are going to watch the channel of the Dumb Shark, especially for the earlier videos that I made. It has some. Uh, not pleasant language, so your discretion is advised for the dumb shark. But the other channel, like this one, and my other channel, is perfectly fine with language usage, usually. So yeah, basically the dumb shark has a lot of cuss words in my older videos. So, this is... Aligos, Demon of the Mind, from Ash vs. The, the Evil Dead, this new series that they're bringing the Evil Dead back on, and I think I may have, um, well I haven't really watched any Evil Dead at all, really throughout my life. I did watch the first one, but it scared me because I was little when I watched it. Um, but this uh, new series, I haven't really watched as well. I just think this guy looks very cool. And also the um, deadite zombie named Enrique, I think... I think it looks pretty cool as well. Um, but yeah, I think uh, this demon has something to do with Ash's mind and uh, or something like that. Or it might have to do with the deadite infestation. I think that's what they're called at least. The things that possess humans. I think they're called deadites. I don't know for sure. Um, yeah, unfortunately. So, yeah, this looks like a uh, thing you would definitely see on Halloween, in my opinion. There's blood soaked feet. Well, he has digitigrade legs. Here's his, uh, Digitigrade protrusion right here, bone protruding out, and then there's, uh, throughout the leg, 
here is elongated and then there's the uh, foot which looks like a hand and uh, that's pretty weird but they're all detailed and blood soaked which is fairly nice um, here's the uh, yeah, there's some kind of dry brushing going on or something like that throughout the blood. But there's um lesions or gaping holes in this uh on the demon's leg. Very shiny, very blood dripped. Um not much going on with the other leg. Yeah. The detail is amazing on this figure. Probably going to put a viewer discretion advised uh, in the description and also the, uh, of course, title. So there's a gaping hole right here, and blood soaking down, um, holes right here, and a lot of holes, blood dripping down, there's his head, which has a big gash in it, he has no eyes, he has a face wrinkles right here, you can't really see them all that well. Let's see. Yeah, you can now. Here's his teeth. Hmm. There's some teeth right here as well, but you can't really see it because um, the light on my camera isn't uh, fairly well, and the quality of my camera as well isn't really good as well. So you can't really see much detail as I can see. So yeah, um, not much going on with the detail. It's basically blood dripping and everything, and dry brushed blood and everything. Um, yeah, not much going on there really so overall he's just a light blue skin color throughout other detail they're sculpt and everything but that's basically it so let's get to the articulation he has a ball joint in his head his or her I don't know I'm Assuming it's a he. There's a hinge right here. A hinge and a swivel. A hinge. And of course a pretty tight swivel. A ball joint in the hand. Let's uh, make sure you see that a little bit better. There we go. Um, here's well, that's incorrect, kind of. Um, so there's a swivel and basically a hinge, as you can see right here. Um, yeah, it's a little weird with this one because I think a, uh, ball joint something connects to the hinge swivel or something, and it's, uh, pretty loose. I popped the leg off accidentally. So, yeah, um, so yeah, basically the articulation you're going to get with this leg is kind of some range with the 
a hinge and swivel here, but mostly uh, just a swivel that goes like this. So we have a hinge, we have a swivel that of course goes to 360 degrees. We have a ball joint at the digit grade which is basically only a swivel throughout its range of motion. Uh, kind of a ball joint throughout the, his foot hand thing. So yeah, same articulation on the, uh, the other arm. Uh, same articulation on the other leg, of course. And that's basically it. If you enjoyed this review, then make sure to leave a like or subscribe, or um, do whatever you want. There's going to be a trailer of this new action figure review coming up pretty soon on my channel. In probably a couple of hours or so. So yeah, it's going to be a secret, kind of. There's these new action figures coming out that came out, um, came in stock about early September that I'm really excited to get. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to do an unboxing of them, and it's going to be very creepy because it's just after Halloween. So, yeah, um, feel free to subscribe or leave a like on this video. And, uh, you can also do whatever because, um, yeah, you can do whatever you want. Well, I'm Spencer Weatherly. Welcome to Monster City, and, uh, I'll catch you later. Bye.